Hey, Yap Kokman here from Skin Real Fly Supply. How are you doing? Today we're going to have a look at the runner. The runner is a concept design that utilizes the snow runner brush. So without further ado, here we go. Place the three millimeter tube onto the mandrel and place the mandrel with the tube in the vise. I like the feed through vise system of any type so that you can utilize the whole length of the tube and cut afterwards. Secure it, done. First, we're gonna tie in the monofilament and create a stopper. The stopper is going to prevent the beads from sliding back. Just make a bit of a bump with the thread and whip finish. Cut it off. Next we're going to slide the bead onto the tube. Leave it a little bit away from the stopper. Then we're going to apply a little bit of super glue on top, then we take the bead and we rotate it onto the stopper that disperses the glue and then it's rock solid. Next tie in the orange thread against the bead, clip off the tag end. Next we're going to tie in the snow runner brush split the hair so that you have just the right amount of hair available of the brush. Don't make that too big because it will get too bulky. Keep it sparse and just do a small section that's just sufficient for a nice see-through translucent wing. Tie in the snow runner brush, snug against the bead Work your thread forward a little bit. Fold the tag end of the brush backwards and secure it in. Bring your red thread forward. Then take the snow runner brush, grab it by the long tag end where you split the hairs in the two direction and start taking a few turns in front of the bead. When you do that, I like to fold all the hair in one direction, like this. And then I start winding. While I still pull the hair nicely back, that way they don't get entangled. Like that. You tie that off. Do a couple of turns in front of it. And then I use different scissors to clip up the metal wire. Next, I use a comb and I comb out the hair all around it. Then I pluck it up like this and then twist it a little bit. Then you see that automatically you have created a very nice translucent teardrop body shape. Next we're going to tie in some flashy boo or polar flash. Take a couple of turns, take the tag end and fold it backward and secure it. And repeat that step on the bottom side. 
Next we're going to tie in some accent flash, copper, and we do that the same way. You tie it in with a couple of turns and fold it back and I like to let that accent flash fall in between the strands of flashy boot that we've done earlier and you do that again on both sides. Next we tie in the marabou. at the tip end and fold the tip back to secure it, clip it off. Don't put too much marabou in there, just a couple of turns is sufficient to give it a nice kind of laggy appearance. Keep stroking the fibers back like that. There. Clean it up a little bit so that you all, all the stray fibers make a nice round head. Clip off the tag end of the marabou and we finish it. Tuck it under nicely, like that, and clip it off, and then just lacquer, I use Sally Hansen's Hard as Nails, and I apply it all over the head and a little bit in front of it, on the tube itself. Normally I let those dry for a little bit. Next you can take the, the mandrel out of the vise, take the mandrel out of the tube and then you can clip off the front end just about three millimeters in front of the head just like that. If you want you can melt a little flange on it and finally we're going to trim the tube to length. I blow the tube hair away a little bit so that we have the tube available there and then I clip it quite long look it's very long so that the hook ends up sitting in the rear of the fly and I clip it off there so here's the finished fly you can see that you have a very nice teardrop shape to the body and it's more or less translucent you have nice overflowing laggy type of marabou and that's basically it. Some flesh, you can vary the flesh as you like and the length of the tube sits approximately there so that when you insert the hook in the end of the tube the hook will be situated here at the rear aspect of the fly. Here you can see a rear view of the fly and you can see how the bead sits propped up against the snow runner brush. And you can also see how the design is more or less hollow. So that is the runner pattern. You can tie them in a variety of color patterns. This one we did with the orange body and pink marabou. And we did this one without a cone head. You can tie them with a cone head as well, like this one here. And this one has a pink body and an orange wing. And you can vary the flesh to your liking. Here we have a black pattern with an orange head. Or a very popular blue body, black wing and pink head. That was the runner. Uh, it's a nice concept design that will allow you to tie very fast a very sturdy, very useful, effective pattern with a nice teardrop body shape and uh, it swims great and it's been very effective. I've um, used it for steelhead in these kind of color combinations and sizes. You can vary the size of your brush and if you make it for example bigger and do a chartreuse wing with lots of flash 
and maybe a blue heckle over top. You have a great Chinook pattern. These are good for Chinook as well in the pink variations. Um, I've used them for uh, peacock bass in the black uh, uh, colors. Uh, very successful. Um, large bull trout in smaller sizes in black. Very great. It's a very good all round shaped pattern um, that you can adapt to your needs. I will put a link to all the materials in the descriptions below. And if you did like the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Hope to see you next time. Keep your weight as wet.